I'm Laura. And I'm Glenn, and we're the Life Leaps couple. <laughs> that was her That's idea. Me. Uh, anyway. uh, last week, we uh, asked you to embark down the first stage of an exercise to find room for your life leap. Yes, but before we do that, I actually wanted to tell a story very shortly. Um, before we moved to Costa Rica, we were living in Chicago, and my mother came to visit us, and we were driving in the car, and a song came on by Liam Womack called I Hope You Dance. Beautiful song, beautiful lyrics. So we actually have the book here um, that Glenn ended up buying for me later on because I loved it so much. But there was one line in there that was just so profound and just smacked me in the face. And the line is actually this. Whenever one door closes, I hope that one more opens. And it really got me thinking. So often in life, doors are forced shut upon us. And when do we have the opportunity to actually close those doors for ourselves? And why would we do something like that? And so in, in pursuit of our dreams of moving to Costa Rica, it was really imperative that we close some doors. But it's also extremely challenging and very you become very fearful because it takes a lot of courage. So I had to shut doors, not all the way, but slightly in terms of my community and my friends and just my surroundings and my conveniences. And then I had to close my door to my career, which was also a very, you know, uh, sticky situation for me to deal with. And not knowing on the other side, like, what is that door going to be? So in the end, it was amazing and you know seven years later we're standing here and we've developed new flexible lifestyles for ourselves we have remote careers we're standing here on video with you and and now we actually have an opportunity with our book that just came up um, we have screenwriters that may be looking at our book which is just amazing and and it happens to be from a movie that was um, nominated for an Oscar so it's pretty big stuff, but you never really know. But you have to close these doors to create the space and the room for other things to happen. So how do you close doors and how do you make the doors that are open a little bit more shut to make your room? Most of us have to do this, if not all of us, unless we're completely independently wealthy and it really doesn't matter. So um, what we want you to do is take your list from last week. There's a template on the blog this week. Okay, you can download to continue the exercise. Find the activities that appeared two or more times and the threes, okay? Even if they appeared once, the threes, because those are the lowest rated ones. Okay, the ones that were really rated three. Uh, put those in a new table, which you can download again from the website. And, okay, here's the tall order. The threes, we want you to put together a, a quick mental plan, and you can write it down and journal on it if you want to. Just write down how you're going to get that out of your life. Completely out. It doesn't belong there. I know you don't believe it, but it doesn't belong there. And then the twos, knock them down by 50% time commitment, okay? And then find how much time, on average, that can get you per week. And then we'll get into how you plan for your life leap and all that with that time. But find the time, quantify the time per week. See things differently. Everything's possible. You can get rid of these things in your life. But write how you're going to do it so you remember. Remember, you'll be inspired. Watch this video a few times, get inspired, look at it. Uh, write these things down and make your room. Yeah, that's great. So, there's a party on the other side. We look forward to seeing you there. Can't wait for the journey. Till See you next then. week.